Okay, so um, this is the first tutorial which I'll actually show you guys how to make uh, a specific effect and it will be just a simple row. So what I've decided, I'm going to make this project like a MIDI effect rack and I'm just going to fill it up with 64 um, different effects and then I'll just release it at the end um, when I've made the 64th effect. So um, basically let's get started. Um, so here's the effect rack, let's just drag in a um, a code so we make a chain let's call this number one because it's going to be the first effect and let's just hold down this to select the right key for it oh i need to arm this obviously and uh, okay i haven't set this up i forgot so um here we go so now it's set up to go and um all we need to do is create um if you remember a row for the board and then to light the whole other row up if you remember, there are um, there are 64 buttons on the launch pad, if you think about this mathematically. And the launch pad is divided by two, which means um, if I press this, um, I need to increase the range. If I press this button or this button or this button, you can see that the plus one, plus two, and plus three, plus four, they continue up here. Um, and that's because that, that's just how the launch pad is built. Um, so it won't continue on this row. So basically we need to do, um, we need to make the effect go all the way up and then up to here, um, which is half, basically um, add half um, half of the way of the launch pad here. So half of 64 is 32. So if we have a look here, I'll just do it slowly so you guys can see and you don't have to do it mathematically. Um, if we just add this, keep on adding and increasing this number um, here for the second chord, then we start getting it. And as you can see, as expected, 32. And that's how you light up a row. Uh, so in the next tutorial, I'll make a vertical row that animates. And um, yeah, if there were any questions about this, I doubt it. It's pretty simple, but um, you can leave a comment below.